everyone my name is Zayden and in this video I'm going to be showing you the secret to growing strawberries all year round either in the greenhouse or outside let's do this so as you can see in our greenhouse we walk over here this is our pot with strawberries this variety, I think, is the best variety to grow at home. This one is the Alpine Strawberry. You can see this plant is fully loaded with strawberries. And tiny little unformed strawberries. This plant is doing so good. Number one is pruning. If you see dead or diseased leaves on your strawberry plants, just like this, then it's time to prune. Let me show you the leaves. See this brown leaf? This is extremely bad to have in a pot because it spreads diseases to leaf to leaf and could set your plant with disease, like adding gas to a fire. So you don't want that. Even yellowish green leaves Remove them, unless they're baby leaves, just remove them, and you will have a really good harvest. So always clean up your plants from diseases. Number two are pests like roly polies, pill bugs, and mites. You want to remove them from a pot if you see them. You can also put something like an old potato down at night or in the morning. Go outside at night and you'll see all the pill bugs starting to eat it. So remove them from it because they love to eat your nice strawberries. So make sure you get rid of those pill bugs so you can have beautiful strawberries in the garden. Number three is your strawberry blooms. When you're outside in the garden, or if your pots are out in the garden and not in a greenhouse, you want, even in a greenhouse, I'm sorry, you want to make sure those blooms and those leaves are in a nice full sun. Up to 6 to 12 hours a day of sun is ideal for strawberry plants. And they require a lot of plant food and fertilizer and water. Water when the soil becomes a little dry. Don't water if the soil is already moist because that can lead to fungus and disease. So if the root, if the soil is dry, make sure to water. Miracle Grow fertilizer or any other organic fertilizer for your strawberry plants. It's also really important to give them food like nitrous, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And these things will grow really well in your greenhouse or garden. The is picking strawberries. When I mean pick a lot of strawberries, so if your pick strawberries are dark red, that means they're ready to pick. If your strawberries are a little bit tinged turning red, but they're still whitish green, don't pick them. They're very sour and they will not keep good on, on the shelf. So if you don't pick the strawberries in time or when they turn nice dark red, immediately pick them. Because if you don't, then the plant will think that its purpose of its life is done and it won't grow anymore. But that's also not true at the same time because strawberries come back every year. So if you want to get a good harvest, make sure to pick them in stages when they turn red. Just like picking peas. Let me show an example of peas. Like this. And for a bonus, I'll add in peas as well. If your peas get this fat, it's ready to pick. If they're very very um, thin that means they're not ready to pick so make sure your peas are nice and fat because this is ready to pick let's taste test them look how big the peas are inside absolutely sweet yum so I'm gonna enjoy these peas after I do the outro I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please smash that nice like button. 
in the face. Also, subscribe to my channel and check out. I highly recommend checking out my second channel, World Toad Homestead. At the moment, it has 25 subscribers. You can help me out by bumping up the number, please. And the link for the channel is in the bio of my channel and underneath my logo if you go on my homepage on mobile. And I'll probably end up putting a link in the description and in the comment, pinned comment of my second channel. Thanks for watching and have a sweet day. I almost forgot. Make strawberry jam. It's delicious.